if we live and survive and thrive in this augmented world, this this metaverse as well as the physical world, we have got to think about how we actually sustain that in exactly the same ways as we think about sustaining the physical world. Sure. And if you say that actually the, the metaverse is inconsequential to our physical and biological world, I think you're missing something fundamentally about what the current world is like. Yeah, I think so too. And I think that's an incredible question because, you know, again, it comes back to this idea too of, you know, how can you entrust the fidelity of these mm, things yes. if you don't understand what the, what is the plan? How is it kept? Where is, you know, again, because similar, and the other piece that is sort of there and it's, you know, the excitement of all the other pieces sometimes overshadows it. But again, if these, inf if you think about those personal spaces that I'm building, that's also a reflection that there's a privacy element of that, right? Of like, what does Andrew build? What does Sean build? Right. You, how are you using that space? How are you interacting with people? There's a level of privacy to that as well, course, which then yes, yep. it raises that it's that same yep. question. What happens and where's that balance between the technological capability of giving you what you want. Someone's got to pay the so, light bill to keep the, the server farm. So